What's up, my name is Rich. Welcome back to another video. In this video right here, we're going to do a t-shirt design. But this right here, this one is new, super creative, and woo, I'm pretty excited about this one because you know, I've shown y'all some, some, some online design platforms before that's really easy. This one is really easy and it's really dope. This one is honestly, man, I'm, I'm pretty amazed at it. This is a super creative website called Kittle. I'm gonna get into it. Let's hit the lights, cause this one right here is super creative. Let's go. All right, so this is a platform called Kittle. It's, man, I keep saying it's dope, cause it really is. It does have a social media aspect to it as well. So you can click on my profile and follow me because when I, when I create a design and I, when I publish it, hopefully we can do one by the end of this video, you can also use this template for the actual design. You know, I've shown you videos in the past where we like create a design on Adobe Illustrator, but then it's up to you to actually recreate it. On here, if I publish the file, you can actually use it as well. And what's really cool is that other creators can also leave some artwork available for you too. So there's some dope templates on here that you can use for your t-shirt designs and it really decreases the learning curve of how to create these extensive designs. It's really simple, watch, let's look at it. So here we are on Kittle. Kittle is pretty sick because check it out. There's other creators on here who also have their uh, design templates available so that you can also use it. But at the same time, Kittle also has their own templates that you can use. And what's cool about it is that they actually look good. You know, some websites, they have templates that you can use and you edit, and it just doesn't look as good as this right here. But check this out. Look how sick this design looks, right? And whenever you download it like a Photoshop or Illustrator file with a similar template, it's hard to rearrange the text and put it back in the same format. But let me show you what's cool about this. So if I click on it, I click use this design, and this is what I'm talking about. So when we're on like, you know, Adobe or something, if I click on this, it'd be hard to change this text and still have it fit in that actual shape of that actual banner right there. But if I change it on here, I'm gonna go ahead and type it in. I'm gonna go ahead and click out and check it out. It already reformats it back into that actual shape of that banner. I'm pretty astonished by this. So I'm just gonna make it a little bit smaller because obviously it did not fit. So we're gonna go right here. Just do like 180 or so. There we go. Look at that, that's pretty sick, man. I love this already. So there we go, we have Hustle Ninjas right there. I'm not from Portland, Oregon. I'm not from Atlanta either. I'm about two, I'm from two hours south, but I live in Atlanta. So there you have it right there. That is pretty awesome. What about this monogram logo? So for the monogram logo itself, you can actually do that as well. So we can do, let's do an H and an N. Whoa. <laughs> I'm a little too amazed by this. I don't know why, I'm very blown away. You know, I've done design for years and this is just pretty sick. Especially, let's say, if you are printing t-shirts for like a brewing company and whatnot, this is an easy way for you to get a quick mock-up for them. And especially if you're pitching, this is a, a easy way to be like, yo, look, look at these t-shirt designs we can do for your company. And it's something that you can come up with real quick. All right, so I'm gonna exit out of this one. Let's look for one that's more of a t-shirt design. This right here, I love the colorway on this camper van. I know I saw one earlier, but I can't seem to find it again. So I'm gonna come up here. I think it had a banana in it. Yeah, banana record shirt. Check this out. This is sick. Stef Stefano Vatier. Hopefully I read your name correctly. So what's cool is like, I like his design, right? I'm gonna also click on his name and I'm also gonna follow him. Now check it out, I'm one of his followers and he has all these templates available for you to use and I'm a fan of each and every single one of them. Much better designer than I ever will be. This is sick. So now that I see a design that I actually like from a particular designer, I follow him and now on my feed, I'm always gonna see more designs of things that I like that's similar to his. I love this banana records joint right here. So I'm gonna click use this design and we can turn it into our own thing. Hustle Ninjas, let's go. Check that out, it already fits. That's freaking incredible. Did I spell mentality right? I have no idea, but check it out. <laughs> I'm blown away, man. I can't stop saying that. And it's very easy for you to move things around, but let's, see, let's look at this element right here, right? We have this banana, I'm gonna delete it. Delete that as well. I'm gonna move over here, click on elements. Let's see if they have any type of ninja. Ooh, they do. They do. 
I'm gonna add this one right here. And look, it already has this grunge thing on top of this entire thing right here that Stefano added for us. And you know what? I almost kind of like this colorway, but check this out. Object color. Oh, <laughs> man, I, I'm, I'm genuinely loving this website right now. Should we make them black? Should we make them yellow? Look, it has the document palette right here, all the other colors that's on here. We're going to make them pink. That orange part, I'm not too good with colorways yet. Let's try that. Let's let's move the green to. Oh, now it doesn't really look like a ninja anymore, but it's pretty interesting. What's also cool about that too, since you know I know a lot of you all do understand, you know how to create T-shirts at this point, and design is something that kind of holds us back. So what's cool about being able to have these colors that's pre-sorted? is if we were doing screen printing that way we can limit the amount of colors that we are actually getting screen printed so that's pretty awesome that they uh, allow certain objects of the actual element for you to change the colors individually that's sick i've said sick dope astonish amazing like several times all right so something like that maybe maybe a little bit smaller I like this blue with this yellow. Now we're going to hit Control C, Control V. It's probably a shortcut for Flint Horizontal as well, isn't there? If I come on over here, no, maybe there's not. I'm just going to right click it, Flip Horizontal. There we go. That's pretty cool. So I don't really know what else to add to this photo right here. And like I said, I'm not the best designer in the world, but you can also go ahead and download it. You can download a PNG, SVG, PDF file. So you can download it in a vector format file. So this is gonna be for great for a lot of us who actually do t-shirt production ourselves instead of just uploading it to a print on demand website, which they typically do direct to garment. But this is awesome, man. So I'm gonna go ahead and exit this out right here. Actually, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna make a few other changes real quick. Let's see here. So check it out, just from the actual design itself, man, I came up with this right here. This is pretty awesome. And thanks, Stefano, because I used your template to create my own type of t-shirt design. And now what I'm gonna do right here, I'm gonna hit uh, share image, publish to community, hit publish. And once it's published, all you gotta do is follow me and you can click use template and you can use the same template. Although this template was originally Stefano's, we appreciate you. So this right here is called Kittle. It's a web-based platform and it's designed so that you can create complex designs really easily. All right, so make sure you click the link down below to get free access. Make sure you check it out, Kittle.